story of my life and I'm laughing at my mouth crooked. I'm coming off on the internet. December 30th. I'm in Target. Yo, why my wig look like this? <laughs> I have to pull it forward a little bit. <laughs> Give me a little second here. Real quick, real quick. Push this card up a little bit. So I can <laughs> fix it. <laughs> I'm such a fool. So I'm actually still in the process of editing um, last week's vlog, but I'm off tomorrow, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna go home and work out. But right now, I'm mean, in Target, right? I gotta pick up a few things. My brother's supposed to come tomorrow to hang with me because, you know, we need that time. If y'all been on my channel, y'all OGs, y'all already know what's going on. I don't go out for New Year's. I stay in. Um, it's just hard. So. This line stink you. This line is oh, real stink. I don't think I ever see a line this long in Target. Later. So hopefully y'all can hear me. It's a little bit later. I feel like the lighting won't be given, but it's just where I got my thing set up for right now. But um, the next thing that I'm gonna be doing, just going forward, I think I mentioned this already. I'm not gonna put myself down. Like I've come a really long way. Like gained a few pounds over the holidays. But she coming together and I haven't been doing my planks. <laughs> so I told myself once my stomach get back to where I wanted to be, I'm gonna re my belly button. We gonna see though. So here I'm just putting on my sweat belt. I do waist train, but this is just strictly because I want to get those extra inches off my waist. And I'm going in with my hip stretches. I recently implemented these into my routine. And I found that they definitely helped when I'm like doing my workouts in terms of like glute activation. Um, from there, I'm going to go in on my bench and I do this stretch now. You should probably stretch a little bit better than me. But you know, this is, what, this is where we're at. So I decided to go upstairs and get my light so that Rosalind wouldn't buff me for not having better lighting for my content. And I just finished up my stretches. I implemented this one as well. Um, I carry a lot of tension in my legs and my lower body, so stretching for me is really important. Now we're going to go into my jumping squats. This is just one of the cardio options that I've uh, implemented in my routine. Uh, I guess it's considered like hit cardio, but you know, definitely helps to get you there. Oh, it's Sunday, December 31st. I'm headed to go to the train station to go pick up my brother. And um, I went to my neighbor first and dropped off an Amazon gift card. I don't know if I told y'all, but when I was in my house by myself, because there's a point where uh, my first relationship ended and I was in my home by myself. And like, I guess with doing everything, my neighbor noticed. And he's an elderly gentleman. So he just decided one day to start helping me bring my trash cans in. He's been probably doing it for like five years and I had to figure out like who's doing it. So at first I thought it was his son. And then when I looked at my cameras, I realized it was him. So uh, every year um, for Christmas, I give him an Amazon gift card. And he's always like, no, 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 I thought I made it this year. I thought you wouldn't give it to me. You know, you don't have to. And I'm like, I spend more money on things that I don't need. Um, you saw me in need and out of the goodness of your heart just decided to help me. How can I not pay it forward? Hey vlog family. Oh, I'm, I left you guys in the car. And don't turn around and say one thing, but you don't come again. <laughs> but yes, we are headed to Giant. Because I'm going to cook some spaghetti. And I didn't realize I didn't get a few things. I should have got when I was at Walmart yesterday because Walmart is cheap. Now I got to go pay these Giant parts. Good morning, YouTube family. <laughs> it is. Tuesday, January 2nd. Um, I had to my dentist appointment. Yo, I really can't wait. I don't know if I told you all my child broke my phone. And I went through the insurance. Gotta have insurance <laughs> for your devices. That's just my personal pet peeve. And um, well, it didn't have my phone in stock because I use a one terabyte. Y'all know I'm a little pack red. So they sent me a check. And I was like, why would I buy the old phone when the new phone's about to come out? Y'all know I love Android. So um, waiting for that. But this old phone is my note 9 and um it don't have 
torture video. So, like, as much as I be trying to, like, blur out the background or, like, put it at an angle where y'all can't see, which I guess is a good thing because my mom ain't up yet. Um, I can't be having y'all seen my entire background because internet is a crazy place. <laughs> uh, I'm late. I got a dentist appointment. <laughs> Supposed to be there at 1045. I think it's like, oh, it's 3, 1049, 1039. So I got six minutes to be there. I'll probably be like five minutes late, which I think is an acceptable amount. Y'all, I'm not going to make this. I'm not going to make this light. It's an acceptable amount of time to be late. Because you know you go to a doctor's office and you got to wait anyway. Like, they tell you to come there and, like, they have you wait. And this is a different place, though. They don't have you. Did they have me waiting long? Long enough. I got, I got, I could afford to be five minutes late. And all right. I'm frustrated with myself. All right. Don't mind me. My mouth is still numb. Like, numb, numb. Um... I am unprepared. This is not like I just feel like I wee in gas. I'm gonna tell you what I do, right? So I didn't think about doing any blood work until after I reached by UPS and UPS is fast. I literally drive right by <laughs> the place to go and do blood work. I had to come back and realize I didn't have any people with them. And then I just turned on this road to go with my mother. Realized, forgetting that I have to drop a prescription for anti inflammatory for my mouth. And I'm like, I just, I make, I make, I waste and gas. Now, granted, all of these things are within like about a two mile radius, so it's not like a serious waste of gas, but it's inconvenient to have to keep doubling back. <laughs> ah, the story of my life, and I'm laughing at my mouth crooked. I'm coming up on the internet. Only one time, well, I see my back. I reach Riley Pharmacy, and I think they're out to lunch because it's one to tea. All right. I really go on because I feel like I'm not accomplishing anything. Yeah, and I'm making the wig. The hair quality, as I mentioned in last week's vlog, is definitely there. I gotta see how it falls, but I just feel like maybe, I, I don't know. It's a little thinner on the ends than I'd like. Now, the wefts are not doubled, but this is the bundle that I believe was a little bit fuller. Yeah, this is the one that was a little bit fuller to the end. So we got to see how the whole wig comes out. <laughs> I'm not going to knock it just as yet. Two reasons. One of my friends who had a hair company, y'all know her, Constance, shout out to her. She's like, you know, we'll video chat with the vendor to see if you can pick your bundle. So I'll try that. I think I want to buy from them one more time before I place any sort of an order. But obviously after I wear this and do a dye test. The other thing is, is this wig that I have from Cadella Beauty. I don't know if you guys recall, like when I made this wig, that was one of the things that I mentioned. Like, hey, you know, there's a lot of short strands and I end up having to cut the hair and it looks just fine. This is the hair. Um, it definitely doesn't look thin. I think the closure definitely helped it. Like, it doesn't look bad. As bad as it did, like, when you know the wefts are separated. But I still would prefer something a little fuller to the end because let's say you're just doing a sew-in and you're, you know, you don't have uh, a closure. Like, I feel like you'll definitely notice it. So, like I said, I'm waiting for them to email me back now. But the closure definitely helped this wig. Like, the fact that it's 18 inch, the closer was fuller, but this is what we have so far. Put out a bit so you guys can see. It still doesn't look bad, but you can see how the ends are like see through. I'm gonna wear it as is before I cut it, um, but it's just y'all see, y'all see. Um, definitely need to have a conversation with them about fuller to the end bundles. Hey, hello, family. It's your girl Kim. It's Saturday. January 6th, um, headed to work. I'm in my car actually, waiting for my car to warm up. I am not used to this, y'all. Like, before I had a remote start and an alarm, and now I be having to sit, cause like, I take really good care of my things. I've always said this from the very beginning of my channel, right? And um, I'm not about to drive in my car when it's cold. So I gotta sit in here. I'm gonna be in here for like another eight or so minutes just so it can warm up, cause it's 33 degrees outside. Yeah, I know, fun times, right? But, I wanted to come to you guys just to show you. So this is what the hair ended up looking like. Um, it doesn't, it actually doesn't look bad. I think I filmed a video or two before this. Um, yesterday I wore it for the first time. I might include that in this video, not sure yet. And I don't know what ended up happening, but I ended up just running water through it. And I've run water through hair before, but I think because this hair has a lot of shorter strands, like it just didn't work out well. So I'm like, all right, let me do that again. Um, but let me just do it with conditioner this way, you know, like I can really get like the best results. I think the fact that the closure one is longer and two that it's full really helped this hair. Now, 
<laughs> the closure isn't bad. Now, the closure isn't bad, right? Um, it's definitely not like my custom closure. If you're far away, you won't be able to tell. But I had a really hard time plucking this closure. Like, in the front, the knots are not as... They're not double knotted. So it's not as hard for it to pluck out. But once I got to, like, the middle towards the back, it was relatively hard and to the point where I was literally taking my time. It took me a half hour to pluck this part. If you guys ever pluck, this is like nothing. Probably more than a half hour to be honest. And um I ended up poking, pulling, not poking, but pulling five holes in it. I made sure that I only grabbed the hair but still because it was so tightly knotted, it pulled holes in the um in the closure itself. So um, just me. I did speak to the vendor and they said, you know, they apologize, which is very different um yeah they apologized and they're like oh you know we can give you bundles that are fuller to the end very different experience from vendor number one um so I, I feel i feel better about it uh in addition to the fact that the forms of payment that they take um they give you multiple options uh it gives you just a little bit more security a little bit more peace of mind it does cost me a little bit more but i'm okay with it so i'm excited um still gotta test this out like i said and once I do, I'll update you guys in the next video. Let's not make this too long. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you've made it this far. Thank you. Um, but I will catch you guys in the next week's vlog. Bye.